April approaching fast, it's almost time for the St. John Heart of Gold Annual Appeal Month. We have the experts from St. John this morning, Andy Everest and Lisa Buckingham, to share how important the Appeal Month is. Morning, guys. Good morning. Great to have you back, Andy. Thanks for having me. And nice to have you here, Lisa. Thank you. All right, let's start. Tell us, what exactly does St. John do? Andy. St. John, I mean, everyone knows what St. John does. You know, they see us buzzing around in their, the big yellow ambulances going fast to emergencies, but we're involved in so many other different things mm. in healthcare and out in the community. Uh, we have our outreach pet therapy, we have our ASB St John in schools, uh, we have our first aid courses, which are very important. Uh, so we're out there, we're everywhere. You are. And, and you know, I see you guys at concerts, I see you at sporting events, just right. always there. So Elisa, what are some of the biggest challenges you guys face? Uh, well, for, it's, for us at the moment, it's about funding and having enough money to run a really good ambulance service. Uh, one of the ways we're doing that is for everybody that uh, goes online and donates more than $25, we'll put their name on the side of an ambulance. Oh, that's oh, cool. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Your name on the side of one of our ambulances. Right. Nice. We'll put the cafe on there, I think. Yeah, great. Actually, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Um, how much is it for a new ambulance, by the way? Uh, $225,000. OK, yeah. right. Well, wow. <laughs> That's a huge amount of money. That's a lot of fundraising you have to it's do. It's a huge amount of fundraising, yeah. yeah. And so um, tell us about why it's so important then, this gold appeal. is th This is your one time of the year, is it, Andy, that you like really have to get out there and, and get the, the funding yeah. in? This is the one time of year that we really we hit it really hard. I mean, we had to try and raise $70 million in order what? to keep doing what we're doing. Wow. Uh, which is get out there and, and save lives. Yeah, $70 million. So what do you do other than, you know, shaking the buckets and stuff? How, do you, how are you raising these funds? Um, it's, it's online. Uh, it's over the phone. You know, if people can just donate uh, St John, people can become St John members as well, yeah. which is really important. And I would assume, Lisa, there's a perception that St John is funded by the government. Um, and that, you know, I guess last year you would have got a lot of donations as well. <coughs> Excuse me, getting all emotional about talking about this because I think you guys do, do, do a great job. How much does the public help? I mean, is it 100%? No, it's not. Um, we're 75% funded by the government. Okay. Yeah, and then it's the other shortfall, which is a pretty big shortfall yeah. Yeah, for running a service. And that's why you need this appeal. W were people good last year? Yeah, people are fabulous. And um, we feel like, you know, we're a good uh, people to donate to. Yeah. yeah we're a good cause. Um, and, and we do touch a, a lot of New Zealanders every year. And talking about um, the other work you do, so um, when people come to the first aid courses, what are they learning? Um, they're learning basic life support, you know, keeping people alive until we get there. Um, using a defibrillator, um, stopping bleeding, um, getting rid of obstructions in people's throats. Yeah, really that critical stuff right yeah. at the point of um, injury. Because I saw that the other day, I was in Waiheke and there was a defibrillator on the information centre there and I was just yeah. like, I'd have no, I mean I've seen it on the telly, you know, clear, ding, <laughs> but I'd have no idea really. So you're, you're teaching those skills as well. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, and it's as simple as, I guess, if you're at a restaurant and someone starts choking, mm. you know, you need right. to know what to do, because you guys can't be everywhere all the time, can you? There's still that period between calling you and, and arriving. Yeah. Um, how many people did you train last year? Do you know? Uh, uh, 82,000 in, in wow. first aid courses. OK, wow. Yeah. So that's a good uptake, isn't it's it? It's fantastic. And, and sort of ages and, and mixes of people, were they people involved in sport, people involved in work? It's everybody. There's a lot of workplace first aiders, um, and then there's lots of people in the community, and people that just keep doing it you know, year upon year, um, keeping their skills up, keeping fresh, having that confidence. Do you need to do that as well? Because I, I know I was a first aider for many years in, in an old um, role I was doing it, and you had to do it every year, to because things change. Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we do encourage people to... Do a refresher. You don't have to do the whole course every year, but do a refresher. And, and talk about, Andy, the, the um, schools program mm. you have. Yes, yeah, we have the ASB St John in Schools uh, because, you know, it's, we've really recognised that it's important for young children to know what to do as well. It's yeah. not just adults. Um, and we've had a number of instances in, in good saves out in the community where, where children have recognised their, their parents have become unwell. They've picked up the phone, they've dialed 111 and uh, they've asked for an ambulance and they've known what to do. Yeah, that's incredible. So it is, it's really important, isn't it, to install, I guess, some confidence in kids to deal with emergencies at that young age. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I guess when you guys are out in the community, what is the one thing you wish everybody would know? If there's one thing that, you know, everyone should know what to do, what would that be? CPR, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's really simple. It's really easy. And... It, Without it, you have no chance of survival. So 
doing it, you'll never harm anybody, but you will give somebody the potential to to have their life saved once we get there. Because that's the point, isn't it? Especially if you're yeah. out rural, you know, you, yep. you've got to keep someone going yep. until right. you get there, and it could be half an hour, or, you yep. know? It's yep. like, yeah, yep. and vital. Yep. Vital work that you do. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today, no and no all the best with the appeal. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the St John Heart of Gold annual appeal runs from the whole of April, so keep an eye out for their street collectors on Friday the 6th. And if you're interested in donating beforehand, head along to uh, stjohn.org.nz forward slash donate. Yeah, I really like the uh, name on the ambulance. I'm going to get one. Yeah, yeah. that's a really Definitely. good idea. I challenge you all to do that, OK? I want to see your name if you're a cafe viewer on the side of an ambulance.